Hi, and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday, where I attempt to demonstrate a topic in two minutes or less. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the kinetic version of a video that we've already done a classic version of, and that is adding a user-defined field to the sales order entry form. For extra credit, we'll make that a combo box that has its values provided by a user code, and we're going to start right now. Let's put two minutes on the clock. If you haven't seen the first part of this video where we added the user-defined fields to the database itself, be sure to check the link in the description. Now, let's jump into Application Studio where all kinetic forms are modified. First, open Application Studio and locate the sales order entry form. When it opens, the first thing we need to do is create a new layer. Click on the Use Layer button and then click the New Layer link. Enter a name and description for your new layer and hit OK. Remember, save early and save often. Now. Let's edit the layer for a sales order header. We're going to add a combo box to this form. Drag the combo box onto your form where you want it to appear. Select your new combo box and go to the Properties tab. Enter a name and description for it. Under the Data section, input the field where you want to store the data. For this example, we're using orderhead.ordertype underscore C. If you use underscore C in the search box, it filters to only show custom fields. Next, we'll define our user codes. Keep the Application Studio open because we'll be back here shortly. From the main menu, open user codes and create a new user code type named order type. Then add your user codes with a two character ID. For this example, we'll use red, blue, black, and white. Now head back to Application Studio. Select your combo box again and go to the properties tab. Scroll down to the reusable combo section and set the type to user codes dot user codes combo. The subtype to default. And in the filter param settings, enter code type equal order type. With that, we're almost done. Save your changes and preview the form to test it. Pull up a sales order, modify the order type combo box, and then refresh the order to confirm that the data is saved correctly. In order to make this new layer available to our users, we need to first publish it, and then add it to the menu. Once that's done, we can go into menu maintenance from the main menu and modify the sales order menu item. Please note that this does appear on the menu in multiple places, so you would need to repeat this process for each of those if you want them all to use this customization. Once you have the order entry menu item selected, we'll go to the Kinetic Customizations button, which launches a new form that lets us select which layers we want to be active. Here you can enable or disable layers or reorder them as needed. Now when we launch that menu item, you will see our customization appear. Well, almost. The menu is cached when the user logs in, so we'll need to re-log to see the changes to the menu. As you can see here, now we have everything working. So there you have it. We've successfully added a new user-defined field, created a combo box, and then use the user code types to populate the values of that combo box, and then added all of this to the sales order entry form under the order header. And remember, if you need any assistance with this or any other related Epicor topics, please don't hesitate to reach out to Eris Consulting to help your ERP system evolve.